Hello and welcome to Sue Finley Designs. Today we're going to be looking at this project that I've created. Now, this is a commission piece for a lady that I'm sending to in the US. Now it's actually quite a challenge this piece. Um, just let me get a bit closer so you can see it. It's actually quite a challenge this piece in that they just wanted silver and normally I like to work with things that have quite a bit of contrast in them and because they just wanted silver it was even with the texture it was looking quite bland so yes yeah, so the the whole video goes into how I created the the texture how I created the highlights in the raised areas and the shadows and things to give it some dimension and to give it a real 3d look but also gives it an antique silver look so um, yeah, so without further ado, let's get into the video and see how I created this piece. So for this piece I'm using a $3 placemat from Kmart and for the texture I'm using Viking multi-purpose filler but you can use any filler that you have. Now I tend to go with the ready mix stuff because then you don't have to mess around mixing it and um, it just comes straight out of the tub and it's quite easy. So starting at the central point of where I wanted the design to start, I start by place it, start making little blobs of fillet onto the piece and then just working in a circular motion. I'm now moving around the piece to create almost like a rose effect so that you have the raised areas forming a pattern as you move around. Now it doesn't need to be perfect as we're going to paint it and the more texture that you have in the piece the better it will turn out so you can be quite messy with this and just blob it on there and, and you can go back and smooth it out a little bit as you go. So then we left that to dry overnight and I'm now going to paint it and I'm just using a silver metallic paint because this is going to be the base of the colour because the piece is going to be silver. However, we're going to put some black over the top to then give it some definition and then we will then work on the highlights of the raised areas. So, yeah, just moving around the board, making sure that every area of this is covered. Now, I gave this two coats of paint, but I'm just showing you the, what, the one coat in the video here. So once that's all dried and it's been left for a while, make sure it's all dry, we're now going to add the black. What I've done is I've watered down the black. Now this is just a basic black acrylic paint. It's an inexpensive one from a craft store. It's usually for kids to use. So it's um, yeah, just very, very inexpensive because what we're doing is we're watering this down. And as you can see, we're then going to wipe the majority of it back off. I'm just using um, a damp cloth, but you can use baby wipes. Uh, whatever you have to hand to do this. So we're just going to go over and in particular making sure that the raised areas has got as much of the black taken off as possible. And then we're just going to use a bit of the pigment that I have here which is a sparkle white to highlight the areas and to bind that I'm actually using a clear glaze medium from Jo Sonia which I'm going to list all the products in the description as normal. So we'll just add a little bit of the glaze into a palette and I'm going to dip the brush in the glaze and put it directly into the powder and then just mix a little bit at the side of the palette until my brush is loaded with some glaze and pigment powder for the piece. And then literally just brushing it on to the top of the raised areas and a little bit um, coming down the edges as well as you can see there just so that we've got some highlights happening there so you can add as much or as little of this as possible so I generally just see how that's going as I'm going along if I feel it needs more I add more so here I've just zoomed in a little bit so you can see the detail as I'm just brushing that onto the raised areas Now as this is a like a glitter pigment, it doesn't need to be perfect because the no matter which way you put it in the light, you will get some shimmer and highlights happening in and same way of glitter just forming its own little 
um, falling in the crevices and things like that, that's fine. But you can just work with that as it is. Now we're going to add um, some more depth to this by adding some powder pigment in a black. Now this is also metallic, so this will give it a nice shine as well. And what I'm doing here, again, I'm using the um, glaze medium to bind with the powder pigment. And although that looks really black there, it's not really, it's just the video. I'm just putting it in the creases at the lowest level of the piece. So the highlights have got the the light glitter and the low the low areas have got the, the black glitter. So um, so we're just going around there. So this just adds more depth, it just it makes the piece jump out at you more. So we'll just go around and we'll do th this to all of the lower areas of the piece. So there's not much else to this other than you wait for the glaze medium to dry and I'll leave that overnight before I begin the resin and then um, tomorrow it's just adding clear resin to the piece just to seal it all and give it a nice glossy finish and also the resin will drop into the lower areas um, and pool in the, the lower areas giving it a nice glossy smooth finish so you've got a mixture then of your texture happening along with the gloss Well, I hope you enjoyed this video and it's given you some ideas to get creative with a texture paste in your resin. As always, the products used in this are in the description below. Also, if you would like to see more of my video tutorials, for instance, how I make resin sculptures and how I bend resin into shape, then go to suefinleydesigns.com.au and sign up for the Resin Beyond the Basics course. Well, that's it for today. Um, until next time, I hope to see you again very soon. Bye for now.